Hello, everyone. This is your Saturday evening KRQE.com webcast. We begin with meteorologist Jason Laney. And it has been nice and warm out there on Saturday, and it looks like we're going to maintain the mild weather right on into Sunday and probably much of the week to come. Now, there is a storm center building off up the west coast. What that's going to do more than anything for the next couple of days is generate some breezes around here. But we will watch as a little bit of moisture gets drawn into the eastern part of the state. A little later on in the week, we could see a few thunderstorms scattered about. For the most part, it's the same old story, mild and windy spring in New Mexico. Thank you, Jason. The first of two women killed during a bank robbery chase earlier this week was remembered by many friends and family today here in Albuquerque. Family and friends of Kimberly Otago Nunez packed the Sagebrush Community Church in northwest Albuquerque. The mother of three worked for Albuquerque's WIC program and was getting lunch for co-workers when she was sitting at the intersection of Quail and Coors Tuesday afternoon. Police say 31-year-old bank robbery suspect Jeremiah Jackson was fleeing police when he lost control of the blue minivan he was driving and slammed into Kimberly's car. Kimberly was killed and so was her co-worker Janice Flores. The FBI is investigating the incident that led to the death of Otago Nunez and Flores. Jeremiah Jackson faces murder charges for their deaths and could face the death penalty. Visitation and a rosary for Janice Flores, the second person killed in Tuesday's getaway crash, is scheduled for tomorrow evening at San Felipe de Neri Church in Old Town, Albuquerque. Funeral services will be held there Monday morning as well. A scary crash involving a state police officer last night on I-25 in Santa Fe. State police say the officer was heading on an emergency call northbound on I-25 near the St. Francis exit when his vehicle left the roadway and then rolled over at about 10 o'clock last night. The officer was taken to the Christus St. Vincent Regional Medical Center in Santa Fe with non-life-threatening injuries. The cause of the crash is now under investigation. The officer's name has not been released. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.